Right, today's guest is CC. She's one of the trio of really powerful characters from Big Brother Nigeria. I have always wanted to speak to her. I've spoken to Tacha, I've spoken to Erica, and I mean, there's, there's many amazing women have come out of Big Brother, but you know, um, Sissy was one of those in the trio that I've always wanted to sit down with. You know that she had a dramatic time in that house, but what we really want to talk about is three years after, she's had enough time since then. How really? Does an experience like that transform the life of a person who was so central to her particular season? CC is my guest on With Today Today. Those people that it was when you were getting when you were coming to them, like hey, I've actually never met you, but yeah. I feel like I know you, you know. Oh, you watched the show, exactly. Did you watch well, it I didn't really watch the show, I watched it after the show, Instagram, yes, Instagram. Then the one you did, the Wine Niger, okay, yeah, yeah. So, usually, what happens with Big Brother is I, I'm not a, I'm a fan of Big Brother, mm -hmm. so I know who is, on, but I don't watch like watching mm -hmm. daily. But I mean, I'm, I'm not one of those people that like, it's hard I don't to watch, watch everything, anyway, yes, when you're busy. yes, but it's not, yeah, but then what, when, but it's usually by the last. Four weeks. Okay. Because by that time, everything, everything has shaped yes. up. Everything has gotten You know, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, you know, when you were, are you tired of talking about Big Brother? Well, it depends. What exactly? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I know that is a huge part of my life. So yes. there's nothing like getting tired of talking about, about it. it. I would yeah. always talk about it. Right. But the question is, what exactly are we talking about? Are we about? talking yes, about? Yeah. Right. So let me let me remember one of the things I was telling you about how I'm a fan of Big Brother as a mm -hmm. brand. Um, I mean, Big Brother Niger at least as a brand, because mm -hmm. uh, I think it really unveils who we are as Nigerians Very and mm -hmm. what we think about women, what we think about you know, just all kinds mm -hmm. of attitudes. Yes. This is just like a database mm -hmm. of that. I think one of the things I noticed when I started watching you towards the end of the show mm -hmm. was you f people were afraid of you. <laughs> You're not in a way she's going to hurt me way. Yeah. You, 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 you get yeah, they see the potential. They, they see, see the they potential. See it, yeah. Why? <laughs> well, uh, because now I know, before I didn't know, right. before I, I used to ask the same question, why? Right. What is it about me? But now I understand because I'm someone that um, I haven't allowed society to kind mm. of like um, influence me. I'm still who I am. Mm. And you can see. Um, you can see that I'm all about, you know, my goals, mm. you know, being the best version of myself, mm. you know, and um, I'm also, how do I put it? I also have high standards, mm. you know, mm. and also um, anybody who's always trying to be better than who the person was yesterday, mm. I mean, you should be scared of the person. Mm. Yeah, so I think they see all of that. They see all, and maybe it scares them. Mm. Yes. Mm. How did you... What made you come? So first, so we're in the house, you know. I mean, maybe you've maybe you've experienced because if you've been the same person, you must have experienced it at points in your life. Yes. Sure. But in the house, because then it's all these people, so it hits mm -hmm, you. Mm -hmm. Because you didn't know immediately. Mm -hmm. How did you navigate that? Is is that the how? how what what was going through your mind? You're dealing with this, and you're like, what is this? Ah, the brother. Ah. It was very. It was a very different environment from what I was used to, right. um, because me, I'm a very private person. Even now, after the house, you mm. can see that I'm not everywhere, mm. so I'm still a private person. So mm. I was very private then. So being in that house mm. with different people, different personalities, and even being on TV, I mean, millions of people are watching you. Mm. Um, I just I didn't know what to do myself. So mm. for me, it was more like just survive, whatever mm. it takes to survive. So first, you could see that I got close to uh, a particular person in the house, mm. and that was what I was, and that was my only survival, um, right. uh, the only way I could survive. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, but when everything went bad, it hit me hard. So, um, for me, I think also because I don't know if I don't know how much you guys know, but then we signed a contract, and even in the contract, 
uh, we're not allowed to um, uh, speak so much about religion. Mm. Yeah, so I was also scared to, because I'm a Christian. Right. So I would, uh, I want to read my Bible, I want to mm. talk to God as much as I could, but then um, I was also scared of not coming off uh, as mm. someone who was, you know, putting out her religion too mm. much out there and mm. all of that. So, um, um, so, but I, I also found, you know, peace and mm. even hope and even um, motivation from even reading my Bible and mm. talking to God, mm -hmm. especially at night. Right. Um, so how did I survive in that house? Let me, I don't know. It was just taking it one day at a time mm. and hoping that um, I was just ready for whatever. I just, you know, just, yeah. I didn't know what I was doing. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. I was doing. One of the things I noticed about one thing that worried me, last year I spoke to Erica when she left the house. Mm -hmm. What worried me is the toxicity mm -hmm. of, and this is not a judgment if you're a Big Brother uh, viewer, <laughs> this is not, not a judgment. Mm -hmm. It's just what appears mm -hmm. to be mm -hmm. the toxicity of the fan base. Okay, that. <laughs> that, this is supposed to be a fun show. Mm -hmm. You know, we're supposed to, it's a game and mm -hmm. all of that. So I want to ask this in this way and then we'll talk about it. Mm -hmm. Have Toby's fans mm -hmm. stopped hating you and attacking you? And this is not, Toby's a, is, I know Toby's a great guy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not, this is not about that. This is not about mm -hmm. what happened. It's just that whole, you know, she was a person mm -hmm. that stopped it. You know, has that changed? Or how did you navigate? How does a, a young woman trying to make her life navigate that? I think, I think for me, when I came out of the house, I had a lot of hate. Yes, mm -hmm. that, that was very old. Yes. I don't know, I, I can't say for sure where exactly he was coming from, right. if it was from, because I had like general, but then one thing that the, the people around me did for me, mm. they helped me to focus on the, the positive side, you know, nice. the love. Nice. And so I wasn't paying attention, to the, you know, and they say you give, uh, what you give, uh, what you what focus you on, you give strength to. Yeah. So as I didn't give focus, I didn't put my focus on all of that, it didn't grow. The heat mm. kind of like, and again, if when you meet me in person, you find out that, I'm not even yeah. whatever you thought about yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not who I am. Yeah. So automatically, and some people even hate you for no reason because maybe yeah. their friend hates you. Yeah. So yeah. all of this is kind of like change, you know, meeting me, you know, mm. or your friend meeting me, or even hearing me talk, or mm. even now seeing more. Even the reunion did a lot for me actually mm. because people now saw more than what they were, we're seeing, seeing, you know, on the show. So the hate has reduced drastically, but mm. some people still hate. I mean, they're gonna always hate. It's yeah. not like everybody cannot like you. Yeah. So. It's still there, but has it reduced yet? Drastically has. Right. Yes. Right. But if you searched for world's most bitter woman, <laughs> what you want to say? It's really not my business. Mm. What matters to me is myself and people who actually care about me. Right. Then those relationships that were ruptured. Then this is three years after. You know, <laughs> have they healed? Well, for me, I've healed, but that doesn't mean that we all should be family and friends. Right. That's not even realistic. Let's be honest. Yeah. People are still people. Yes. I mean, the show is the show. I wouldn't say um, the show didn't influence people or didn't make people act a particular way. It did, but however, you you can't you can't bring out what is not truly inside you. Mm, Some rich. people haven't even recovered. Some people haven't actually even grown from that. They're still who mm. they are, and they still see you as a competition, even though mm. show is, the show is over. Mm. So it's hard to stay friends. All of us stay friends. Mm, mm. But are we cordial? Yes, we are. Mm, I don't mm. think there's anybody right now that I can say hi to. Mm, yes, mm. and yeah, I think that's so that, what it is. Does that mean that 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 that, that, that mean that people? So does it mean that people that take it too seriously are taking it too seriously? <laughs> well. I wouldn't, I mean, do you ha handle <laughs> me? I don't know how to take things too seriously yeah. because at the end of the day, I'm the one who's going to suffer. Uh, so for me is, do you want us to be friends or to be cool? These are the things that you need to do. You yeah. need to be real, number one. Yes. You need to also understand, I don't do Instagram friends. If yes. you're doing the whole, let's hype it. Yes. Now, nah, please stay away from me. So right. if we're going to be friends, let's be friends for real. Mm -hmm. um, not for the, uh, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the gram. So that... And um, but some people don't understand that their friends mm. only on social media, so mm. I don't I don't do that. So mm. if you understand that if, if this is what you want mm. and you're ready to do what it takes to get what you want, then yeah. I'm good. But if not, stay away. But you know, until I got the research, I didn't know. So and mm -hmm. obviously my other guests were say, oh yeah, she responded to it online. Mm -hmm. But if you searched for world's most bitter woman. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but uh, but I think someone did that. I don't think. Yeah, I because mean, obviously it was a planned mm -hmm, thing. Somebody was, did it, it and it SEO was. did it, yes. so that it becomes the top of the mm -hmm, result. Because that's mm -hmm. not it's not that people are searching for it. Mm -hmm. But you responded to it. 
That's, you, it, it, I was wondering, should I ask? I, 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 there's some questions I don't like asking. I found so many things funny when I came out of the house, funny yeah. enough, because how we got, like, how did I get, how, how? how this even, but yeah, I keep saying, I don't allow people define me or situations yes. define me. Like, say what you want to say, it's really uh, not my business. Mm. What matters to me is myself and people who actually care about me. Right. I came out of the house, right. my my parents, they had a lot of nice things to say. Yeah. My family in general, my very, was still very, like all my friends before You're the show were still, still very, to, right. I promise you, we're right. all still very close to now. Is she one of them? <laughs> she's my PA. <laughs> no, she's right. my PA. Okay. Yes. I have to ask her a question about that. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> so we're still friends, we're yeah. still close. So yes. when, they, when they have all these things to say yes. about me, yes. I was then good. That was, yes. I was good. Because like, your friends tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. So if you come out and mm -hmm. your friends who know you, don't mm -hmm. say this was wrong. You're yeah. like, okay. And I actually asked for yes, the video. For Let me see what and what happened mm. on that show that made mm. you guys. But when I didn't see anything in particular, I'm like, mm. okay, cool. Mm. It's just people, you know, I think it's one of the campaign, mm. um, what's it called? The uh, strategy, you know, putting in all of that. So I didn't, I didn't take it. I didn't so what's your that. life like now? Okay, so before now I used to be work, 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 but now I am very deliberate and intentional about yes. finding a balance. So mm. I'm not just work, work, also I'm trying to also have a personal life, life outside work, because, mm. you know, I'm not getting <laughs> younger. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm trying to also find, you know, all the things outside work that, mm. you know, that I love to do. Surely mm. one of them is having a family, you know, so, mm. Mm. yes, so... Uh, you can't just, that one, you can't just go like that. Please yeah. tell me about this having a family plan. <laughs> no, obviously, I'm going out more. I'm meeting right. people, I'm talking to people more. Right. And I'm open to meeting people now. Because right. before now, it's you just like, work, work, yeah. work, and all of that. So that. Wait, I was, I finished that. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that. that, and also, um, looking at the world and see how, where the CC even, yeah, fit, what is, what am I supposed, because, yeah, I'm all about uh, my purpose, I'm purpose driven. Right. So now it's like, okay, now I have the fame, I have mm. the money, not mm. too much, but I have enough but, to take yeah. care of myself and to do, you know, to help people. So what is that thing? How can I serve? Mm. How can I make mm. this country better? How can I, mm. I don't want to do what everybody else is doing. And that's one thing that happened to you. We celebrities, mm. I don't, Celebrity, <laughs> well, we. Oh, you're a celebrity. That, I don't. Know, I we say it as, a, as if it's a job description. Well, it really, isn't, but it's, yes. Yeah, but so it's, I'm trying to avoid. I, right, I get what yes, you mean. Yes. So you mean. now I'm trying to see what everything that I have now. Yeah. Who I am, the fame, yeah, the yeah. knowledge, the skills, everything. How can I serve? So that's what I'm, I'm about right mm, now. Mm. And uh, yeah, and then also work because work mm. brings money. So yeah, mm, those. Mm, those two. I'm just trying to find the balance, basically. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, I mean, so I can walk into a place, maybe one or two people recognize mm -hmm. me, and I can just find a corner. Yeah. You, I doubt there's any corner, <laughs> but even if the person doesn't know who it is, the person will be like, I know, mm -hmm. I know that person. Mm -hmm. How easy is it for you to well, meet someone? I, I, apart from even just the fame, also yeah. because of certain things I did on the show, mm -hmm. it's even hard. Because yes. now it's like, that's the seat I still, yes. still fight men. Because, you know, <laughs> all of that, I got all of that. But the thing is, um, I'm not for simple-minded people. Mm -hmm. The people who are actually Preach. deep. <laughs> they, I am not for simple-minded people. I am not. So uh -huh. the people who are actually not simple-minded, they they saw more than that. Yeah. And um, I'm I'm also even grateful that I was able to be me throughout. Yeah. So they know they know me. They were able to still see. Uh, me mm. on the show mm. so that kind of helps me to attract the right people mm. so it's not really hard for me and then again is um, it depends on where you go to mm. I go to places where I, I don't have to and I meet people who I know that understand that all this is packaging all mm. this is the mm. fame it's mm. outside that you need to also be able to see me mm. who I who I am really so yeah it's not really that hard. Mm -hmm. It's not really that hard. It's, it's just really the, those ones that. Oh yeah. So it's like it's, a, it's even a, 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 an editing mechanism. So Thank you. It away. filters away all yeah. those, you yeah. know. So yeah. the, the serious people, yeah. the people that are on the same mental wavelength, yeah. those ones easily they yeah. just come because yeah, yes. Well, one of the things again I'm talking about, you seem very well put together. What kinds <laughs> okay. of you know very well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you. <laughs> you know, in terms of just having, yeah. knowing, understanding, you know, mm -hmm. compartmentalizing all of that—is that how you really are? Yeah, because if you if you grew up in the kind of environment that I grew up in, you don't have a choice. You have to mm. turn out this way. Because my mom, she's she's uh, she's she's what you call a role model. 
I mean, she's everything that you want to be. Right. Everything that I want to be, anyway. Right. I mean, I still be, you know, you, because I don't know who you <laughs> who was, anyway, right, yeah, But right. who I want to be, that's, yeah. the, so I, everything, who I am now is as a result of being her child, you know, just watching mm. her, you know, even listening to her and all of that. So um, I've always been this person because, I mean, she taught me how to stay focused, you mm. know. Um, I, th I think she knew she wasn't going to stay too long, so she kind of gave me everything that I needed. Mm. So now, when I when I when I when I have a challenge, I just think back to, you know, the things that she used she to told, say, yeah, yeah. things that she used to do, even things as simple as my name. Mm. It's a message, like a message from her. So, mm. so who I am now is just I think it's my mom. Mm. I mean, God obviously He gave me my mom, and also I've just been lucky to have found myself in environment where. I don't have a choice, but turn out like you have to grow. Like I have older friends. Um, I don't have a choice actually. Mm, There's no, mm, mm, mm. yeah. So what kind of things get you? I mean, I don't know how to ask the question because I'm like, am I saying telling you to tell people what what to get <laughs> you down with? But mm -hmm. what kind of things throw you out of balance, and how do you? regain balance almost everything because i told you i'm an empath i'm yes. a very sensitive person yeah. so even just uh rolling your eyes or whatever i yeah. this is like okay you know so but i have learned how to manage yes. my control myself so even if you do that i'm feeling it but i you wouldn't you're know not, i'm just yeah. like okay cool, so cool. you're processing yes yeah, so it's like and again because of the experience on the show mm. um i have learned how to be what's the what's it you know bottle of water no matter mm. how you shake it when you open it, it doesn't explode. But in the house, I was Coca Cola. When you do like, oh, yeah, like, like Coca Cola, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The drink when you shake it and yeah. it just explodes. That's what I was in the house. So right. now, after everything that happened, coming out, now I've learned how to be calm mm, regardless. Fridge. And I yeah. learned that from someone in the house. But she's <laughs> always calm, no matter right. what is going on. She's like, right. you know. So that's one thing I actually admired about her. Uh -huh. And I will give her the credit, Bam Bam. Yes. She's such a calm yes, yes, person. Yes, we, ha we had Bam Bam on the show. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, She's so a, calm. Yeah, she so is. the whole show was about to... So there was no presenter. Mm -hmm. There were four Big Brother housemates. Mm -hmm. I stepped aside. Okay. And then, you know, people were about to erupt. Mm -hmm. Each time, Bam Bam would be like, just calm. put a fire extinguisher. <laughs> yes. You know, yeah, yeah, you're so right. That's one thing I took from her in yes, the house. So yes. she's so calm. Yeah. I always wondered, how are you so calm? Like... Yeah. You know, see, no, she's so calm. Right. She's like, so that see. doesn't mean she's not. She's feeling of course, like she's of calm. course. But then it's to yes. process it. So, yes. so that's 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 where I am now. Right. It's like no matter what is going out on outside, yeah. I am at peace inside. So, so it's, it's, so it's cool. You're yeah. learning that. And then you got COVID last year. Oh yeah. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> that sickness. I yeah. I always say it's from hell. Cause so you actually got the symptoms. I did and everything. everything. And the funny thing, I had I partied too much during the holiday. Right. So when I got home, the first thing was the sickness. And my family didn't want me to travel because. I had to leave them to travel somewhere else. Right. So it felt like they were happy, like finally, yes, you got that COVID. Like, right, so you can rest. You want to, you know, so it was such such a hard, yeah. hard because you know, not feeling normal. Like mm. I literally went on my knees and I prayed to just feel. I want to feel right. normal. I don't know how every other person's experience was, but my, my was was funny because yeah. I couldn't feel my. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't even taste. I couldn't. I couldn't smell. I couldn't yes. do nothing, and it was so frustrating for me. But mine didn't last for a long time. It was like five days. Right, 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 right. So how did you recover from it? Ah. Uh, obviously medication yeah. and i think we're just medication right. yeah yeah just so here that what happens with covid is that your body doesn't feel like it's your body no, i didn't feel like there was something my... in my skin like, yes nah it, it was, i can't even explain it i didn't feel normal i couldn't breathe i couldn't like it was such a frustrate nah <laughs> i i don't even pray for Anybody my enemy to, to even now nah, please it's, yeah. it's such a i don't know yeah yeah <laughs> People compared you to Tatcha, oh, compared you yeah. to Erica. You know, people are not used to having strong women. Yes. People, women that have opinions. Yes. So when you see someone like, okay, yeah, oh, that person, they remember you, they always remember the ones that have yeah. been like that. So yeah. I think that's what it is. Your fans, what's your relationship with them now? <laughs> is it does it continue? Does how do, in what shape does it continue? What do you do with? Um, so, because of the nature of Big Brother, because every year there would always be a new a, set of years, yeah, yes. the show and all of that. Yeah. So, obviously, you wouldn't have as many as you used to have. But mm. the honest truth, I mean, I've been very lucky that the ones that have been there, they've been till now, they still call me from time to time. Mm. Some of them, the ones that mm. I, I, I talk to, they're always there to support any brand that I am mm. working with. Mm. They're, they're still there, they're still very much there, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah very did present. You, because I remember you did an interview with, I think, Desmond at Y Nigeria. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want the headline was I always knew the fame wouldn't last. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Explain that because your, I mean, I understand that the fame is mm -hmm. reduced, 
but your mm -hmm. your fame continues. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe I use the wrong word, right. actually fame, but then I understand uh, this law of spotlight. It moves. Yeah. yeah There's yeah. nothing you can do about it. Yes. It moves. Yes. But I don't understand why Nigerians they make you feel you look like your time has passed. Right. What does that yeah. mean? It just means the season is over. Yes. On to the next, next season, season, which is better than the last season. Yes. So why are you so I don't know. So it, when I was talking about the fame, the fame will not last. What mm. I was talking about, the noise. I should have said the noise. Mm. It, it was noise. You know, C C C C C C all these things. But mm. now it's quiet, and now I can focus, which is a very good good thing. thing. Yes, it's yeah. a very good thing. What about that comparison? People want to people. It was Tatchard. People have compared you to Tatchard. Oh, compared yeah. you to Erica. You know. <laughs> You know, people are not used to having strong women, yes. people, women that have opinions. Yes. So when you see someone like, okay, yeah, oh, that person, this, yes. they always remember the ones that have yeah. been like that. So yeah. I think that's what it is. Did it make actually. you uncomfortable at first? No, why? It, it, I, I loved it because the honest yeah. truth is I felt like being the first that actually came or did different from what every other person d did on the show. Mm -hmm. um, I think I made people comfortable to go on the show or to mm -hmm. feel safe to go on the show and be themselves. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I was myself, I came out and I turned out great. Mm -hmm. So if you're going on the show, I think it's enough for you to say, okay, Cece was herself. Mm -hmm. Whatever happened, happened. She came out, she turned out great. So I, I kind of feel like by being myself, mm -hmm. I made them comfortable yeah. and safe yeah. to be themselves. And yeah. they're doing amazing. They're like, doing they're amazing. Doing well. No, I just, as we're mm -hmm. talking, I just realized I've been so lucky. So, so mm -hmm. when the Big Brother show happens, the people are always mm -hmm. doing tours. Mm -hmm. And I mean, again, I, I think everybody that does the show is brave and they are, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. amazing to see. But I'm always like, there's particular people I want to talk to. So it's like, <laughs> so it's like you know, please, I need to. When Tatcha came out, like, I must talk to Tatcha. <laughs> and when Eka came out, I was one of her three interviews. Mm -hmm. And when we're doing the show, I'm like, I must talk. To, so it's mm -hmm. like, I must talk to CC. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so I just realized I've been so lucky to have talked to three of you. Oh, that's nice. And I see what it is. I mean, from <laughs> where I am, it's that there's a, you know, I mean, there's, there's, a, there's, I don't want to talk to them, but there is a grace, there is a, an, there is a learning, mm -hmm. there is a humility that is not performative. Mm -hmm. It's not like, oh, I'm humble, come and sit on mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. But not in, oh, I'm right. learning, mm -hmm. I'm understanding, mm -hmm. it is, it is. Mm -hmm. I think that's a fantastic, um, those are fantastic women to be compared mm -hmm. to in any case, you know. Very true, very true. <laughs> very true. So if we're sitting down in five years, what do you think we'll be talking about, me and you? What do you think uh, is going to happen? Talking about. What do you think would have happened with you? What do you think you would have done? What me. do you think, you know? Obviously, um, Sika will be a household name for fitness in Nigeria. That's right. one, like, one That's thing I'm very sure of. Right. Uh, maybe we'll talk about my kids. Right. <laughs> my right. kids. Right. Um, right. What else? Uh, maybe some other... Because, of course, I've learned something in life. Like, mm. you plan, but at the end of the day, ah, even something that you didn't expect mm. that was going to happen. So, mm. um, who knows? But I'm very sure, mm. because of where I am now, what I'm focused on now, I'm very sure Siga, for number one, yes. is going to be part of our conversation. Yes, yes. yes. You're very clear about that. I'm very sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm very sure. Right. And I like the way you said that it would be a household name mm -hmm. in fitness. Mm -hmm. You know, how should you know, when you were talking about some of the things that helped in the house, mm -hmm. God, I wanted to know what does, is, 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 your, is your faith, I know you're a Christian, mm -hmm. yeah. is your faith, an, how important is that to you? What does that mean to you? What does God mean to you? I mean, because I'm in mean, the environment that I grew up, but that's what they, they thought was about Christianity, God, and that's what I believe in. I mm. mean, it's working for me, so mm. I don't know anything else. Mm. Um, so for me, um, everything that I am or everything that I'm going to become is, mm. is still going to still be um, from God. Mm. So he is such an important factor in my life, mm. and it's very important that I stay very close to him. Mm. My mom named me Makwa means which means embrace God. Mm. It's like a message. Mm. That's the only way, and that's the only thing that I would like, that's working for me. Mm. Uh, I don't know anything else. Mm. I don't know what that way that to be. To, so this yeah. is just central to your life. Yeah, it's taking so it, from, it is. It's, right. This is it. That's right. all I know. Right. I just know God. You just know God. Yes. And finally, if you're asked to do Big Brother again, would you do it? Never seen ever. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a very adventurous person. So yeah. maybe at the time they would tell me maybe something in me just that I just do for the fun of right. it. I could just go. Right. But not because of why I did the first time. Right. It maybe a different reason. Right. First time it was I was just hungry. I was yeah. bored. Yeah. You know, and I was looking for something more. What what is more? I wanted more. So that's yeah. why I went there. Now yeah. it's can't be more. That's what else? Why. I've gotten fame. I've gotten yeah. yeah so yeah. I don't know, but Never say never. Yeah, but all taken together, mm -hmm. you think that this experience was a, 
net positive for your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it's an amazing platform. Yeah. Nobody should take that away from them. It yeah. is. Yeah. I mean, it's, again, it's a business. So, yeah. like every business, yeah. you still have. But it's an amazing platform, you know, because mm. when you go to Symmetry, you see a lot of potentials. Mm. What that has done in this country is... You know, we are the young people and we're the future of tomorrow. Mm. You know, bringing us out there. Because even if you're not on the show, you're watching the show. Mm. And you can see yourself through even just us living, mm. you know, our lives. You can see yourself in CC. You can see yourself. And you can see the things that you need to work on. Mm. You see the mm. things, you know, the things that are kind of like limiting you. Mm. And you see the things that you can actually be. Mm. So, mm. Um, mm. it's an amazing platform, like I said. So, um, no regrets. No regrets. No at regrets. all. I think, yes. yeah. I think that would be your motto. Your motto. <laughs> so it's, it's like no regrets. No regrets. But thank you. It's been such a pleasure so sitting with you. Me. I've been looking forward to I this have, conversation. I had, I had a good time. I, I hope so. Time, I hope so. Yeah, I I'm I glad. I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>